Yeah, good morning. Thanks very much for having me. Uh, first of all, I think it's super, super, super important that everybody understand what this package is about. It's back guarantees from the government. There's no cash, right? We pay money for this back guarantee, so it's like an insurance package. And uh, normally you pay money to the government on, an, on a rate which is even above the commercial market. And the guarantees at the end will be provided together in a consortium with banks. These guarantees are meant to back secure customers in terms of prepayments, execution of contracts and so forth. So it's a relatively normal instrument in the industry. However, because of the size of our order book, which is beyond 112 billion in the meantime, Obviously, we are so big, big that obviously for the financial market, they, they look on it and have the concern of a cluster risk. This is why this package was needed and we are very grateful for the government of structuring it together with the banks and Siemens AG support. But it's also, I think, really, really important that people understand that it's not cash and this is also under European law. This is not state aid or anything like this. Um, so I think there was a lot of misperception around this package. It is important to continue the growth and the guarantees will largely go to the grid business, to the other non-wind businesses uh, to secure this enormous growth which comes with the energy transition. So you fleshed up what you see this is state aid or state, well you say state guarantees I should say, and you characterise what it is at this point. Can I just get to what it means though for the overall business because there are a series of issues that have cropped up. It's not just been one issue. Quality control issues have of course been cited but the industry has had a, a funding issue when it comes to renewables. We know inflation has very much impacted the cost base, contracts that have been inked for the longer term. As we talk about the business now where there have been issues around the wind division, not expected to break even until fiscal 2026. What sort of bridge are we talking about when it comes to the state support? No, uh, once again, I mean, first of all, you always have to see Siemens Energy has, let's say, multiple parts of business. 30% is wind, 70% is, is other technologies like grid, like gas, like hydrogen and so forth, which are doing extraordinary good. Wind is painful in terms of turning it around. And as you said, there's a couple of elements. The one thing is quality issues in the onshore business, so wind turbines on land, uh, which needs to be fixed. And this is obviously, as we communicated in quarter three, a multi-billion exercise over the next years to come. And this will obviously also continue to burden the results going forward. At the same time, we are ramping up four factories at the moment to cope up with the uh, to keep up with the massive growth in offshore, so the wind turbines in sea at sea, uh, and this goes slower than we expected in terms of how many turbines do we get out into the field, and uh, this was also a negative result in 23, and this will also burden the results in 24. Still, we do expect break even in the wind business overall between onshore, offshore, and the service business there in 2026. Uh, we obviously uh, will be halfway through that next year. This is what we expect. Um, but we also obviously then thereafter, once we have worked through the very painful backlog, what we have, which have all these elements, as you mentioned, inflation, uh, too low cost considered uh, over the next two years. And this is why then for 26, we feel uh, well set up to really turn around the wind business.